Welcome to Technology Training Quick Tips. Today, we will be looking at a simple access database and learning how to count yes-no values. Here we have a very simple database um, with one table and attendance table. I'm going to double click um, on that object over here in the navigation pane to show you how it's structured. You'll see in our first column we have a list of student names, a day they might have attended class, and a simple yes-no whether they attended class that day or not. Now in some situations it might take up less space to go ahead and only record the dates that a student attended. In this situation we want to record both dates they attended and dates they did not attend so we can keep track of absences. I'm going to take the opportunity to go into design view. I'll do that right now by going to the left hand side of my home tab up here on the ribbon and clicking on my design view button. I just wanted to show you that our three columns have three different data types. Our first column has text data type for the student name. We have date time for the attendance date. And for our yes no field we have an actual yes no data type. It's important to distinguish that this field is a yes no data type. It's not just simply the text yes and the text no because a yes no data type does behave a little bit differently than text does. Uh, we often will see this expressed as a checkbox on a form where you can simply check a value if it's yes and leave it blank if it's no. Yes, no can also be interchanged with true, false, or on, off. So in this situation, um, I'm going to go back into data sheet view here by clicking on the data sheet view button and just kind of remind you what this looks like right here. Now, if I was the instructor of this course, it might be required of me to report on how many classes a student attended and how many they did not attend within a certain time frame. In Access you can accomplish that with the data that we're seeing in front of us using a totals query. When we're using a yes-no data type, however, we have to do an extra little step to make sure that it's counting accurately. Sometimes we would expect it to behave in a way it doesn't naturally and because that's a little counterintuitive it'll take a few extra steps. Let me show you a little bit more what I mean. I'm going to close out of this table and I'm going to go here to the query that we ultimately want to have at the end. Notice that it lists every student here on the side and has a column for the classes they attended and a count for how many classes were missed. Now that we've explained the table structure and examined the type of query we want to create, we're going to stop and break up this video. Um, go ahead and look for part two in the HR Training and Development playlist to see the dramatic conclusion of how to create a query that will count yes-no values. See you in the next video.